hello everyone welcome back to another video in today's video this is going to be the mammography registry review um, for the breast anatomy i do have a video where i speak on the breast anatomy breast pathology positioning in mammography that video go into more detail it's like an hour long but I will try to remember to link the video at the end of this video or um, you can just go to my mammography registry review playlist and you can find all of the videos that I have um, to help you pass your MAMO boards. So this is just an examination content specification of what to expect for your registry that I like to put just to remind you all how you should prepare, how many questions is going to be in each category. Since this video is going to focus on procedures, we'll just um, just focus on how many questions is under anatomy, procedures, things like that, which is 65 questions. So in this video, it's just going to be like an introduction to breast anatomy. If you all want more videos about it, just let me know. But this will be um, like part one or lesson one. Now we're going to talk about the structures of the breast. Um, we have our nipple, which is a tiny structure that marks the center of your breast. Nipples can stick out. They can become flattened or pointed inward or inverted. If nipples are inverted, um, just make sure that or the patient should know to um, go to their doctor, especially for us all or you all that is um, studying to pass their boards. If a patient come in for a screening mammogram and they mention that their nipple is inverted and it's new, either go speak to the radiologist to see if they want them to continue as a screening mammogram and just notate that or um, have them reschedule as a diagnostic mammogram because I've had patients who had inverted nipples, it's been there or it's been like that their whole life, no problems, no cancer, but you also have inverted nipples that can be a sign of, you know, early stages of breast cancer. So it just depends, just reach out to your radiologist at your facility to know what they like for you all to do. And then you also have that your nipple contains about 15 to 20 orifices. And then now we have our areola. That's going to be that darker colored area around your nipple, around the skin of your nipple. This surrounds the nipple. And that darker area is on your breast skin. This contains the Montgomery's glands that secrete a lubricating and is a key area for breastfeeding. Okay, now we have more structures of the breast. You have your adipose tissue. This is the major component of the breast along with fibrous and glandular tissues, also known as fatty tissue. This is important for hormone production and energy storage. You have your duts. This is the tiny tubes that carry the milk from the lobules. And then you have your lobulus where milk is produced. Each breast contains about 10 to 100 lobulus. And then you have your skin. This has the sebaceous glands and hair follicles. And the breast has approximately 15 to 20 lobes. So just keep all of these numbers in mind. And then now we're going to talk about the acne which is the milk producing part of the breast, your Cooper's ligaments. These are the suspensory ligaments and the strands of the connective tissue that helps to support the lobes of the breast. This keeps the breast from drooping. So as we become older, these become stretched or more weakened over time, which can lead to what may be called um, breast sagging. And then you have your muscle. We have the pectoralis major muscle, which is a large, thick fan shaped muscle. This is going to be located um, anterior portion of the chest. And then it's immediately behind the posterior um, breast tissue. So whenever you are, um, and I'll show pictures later, 
whenever you have your mammogram, the patient is in the MLO position, you can see the muscle well. And then also, if you get the patient pulled in a lot on the CC view, sometimes you can see muscle as well. We have the pectoralis minor muscle. This is a thin, flat, triangular muscle that sits below the pectoralis major muscle. And then you can see like the the um, diagram how all the all of the anatomy is looking. And then this is just more information. Make sure that you know um, your nipple, your connective tissue, where's your fatty tissue, your muscle, where's that located, your ribs. Um, make sure you know how the guts look. If you were to see a picture like this, just make sure that you know your anatomy. Okay, this is a mammogram of your MLO, and then you have your CC view beside it. This is a good picture of me just telling you now you see the muscle well on your MLO. Now you see the muscle well on your CC view. And then it also have like a good nipple and profile, which is important. So um, this is like a good picture to go along with the annotations that I showed you. And then you have more anatomy labeled here. Whenever you cannot get a patient to lean in more, um, try to do like an XCCL view or try to document um, if you can get a lot of uh, muscle on the MLO view, you can always document. If you can't get a good IMF, try to get a good IMF. Try your best because cancer can go anywhere along the breast tissue. But in the case where you can't, you can do your best, take your IMF picture, and then you can also document um, protruding abdomen, um, limited, limited position, if patient is in a wheelchair or um, patient fall risk, all of the reasons why you can't obtain the best image possible, just make sure that you are documenting this information. All right, that's it for this video. Um, if you found it to be helpful, please give it a thumb up, thumbs up, comment, any questions that you have. Um, if you want more review videos like this to help you prepare for your uh, mammography board review or board exam, just let me know. This can also be used for CQR. So if you live in the United States and you have to take the CQR assessment every 10 years, you can use this for this as well. If you do not live in the United States, this can be used in general. Um, if you are checking out my mammography review videos, make sure that you click on playlist on my page because I throw in other videos on my page like work vlogs, daily life vlogs, sometimes sit down videos. So um, other than that, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to hit the subscribe button if you would like more videos. Bye.